Hello, this is Richard Price. Today I want to talk about the relevance of beam profiling in dentistry. I think that for too long we've been focused on the average irradiance across the tip of a curing light. In this image, A represents the single irradiance value that we use, and B is the reality we see in beam profiling. This commonly used average irradiance value is obtained by taking the power from the curing light and then dividing it by a defined tip area or the area of the radiometer sensor. But this only gives us a single average irradiance value and gives us no idea of the distribution of the light across the light tip. For that, you need to do beam profiling. Here you can see 12 curing lights with their light output superimposed over a molar tooth. As you can see, they're all quite different. Ideally, the light output should be uniform, such as in this image. But often we see outputs looking like this, where the light is obviously not very uniform. Now you'd never see this uneven light output on a dental radiometer. You need to do beam profiling to see this. Now the question is, so what? Here we can see a curing light that delivers a very non-uniform output with obvious hot spots at the center. If we turn on such a curing light over a block of cured composite, we can clearly see the hot spots of high irradiance and low irradiance. This obviously must affect the polymerization of the composite. Now the output from this curing light is more uniform. However, there's still not much light at the bottom of the proximal boxes. And this is concerning because most of the secondary caries occurs at the bottom of the proximal boxes. If such a composite is put into a solvent, then the solvent will quickly remove the uncured or partially cured composite that is in the proximal boxes. This is a very simple but impactful demonstration of the importance of having a uniform beam profile such as you see in these images here, where the output from the same curing light was being profiled on the three different output settings. As you can see, there's no difference in the uniformity, only the irradiance increases. I've been using beam profiling since 2010. If you have any questions about beam profiling, please do not hesitate to contact me and I'll be happy to help. Thank you for listening.